Hello everyone, today we're going to be showing you how I would set up Windows 7, or at least how I would used to. Whenever I get some computers that can run Windows 7 natively, I'll probably show this on real hardware. But I'm going to quickly go here to Internet Explorer. Yes, I actually am using VMware today. Because that's the only way I can get Aeroblast to work. No idea what I'm doing. Yeah, I'm... Yeah, I'm hoping you like Snooky Wolf. New in quotation marks. I got it. I'm using my old wireless keyboard that I have. So hopefully you just like the clickiness of it. So I'll be using that for some videos. That, that I met my dad's on. Because I'm on my, at my dad's, when I'm recording at my mom's, I would use the keyboard I use over there, which is an Asus Tough K1. So, no, please, ew. Express. No. Get out of here. I've just been doing so much DOS lately, I'm just glad to be back in Windows 7. Download Chrome. Let's run it because I like because I like it. So the first thing I would do is, of course, I would install a web browser. And since Internet Explorer 8 actually works, one well, Internet Explorer 8 and Windows 7 actually works. <laughs> and also, I'm not on Gold Edition. Are you guys proud of me? Good. But I'm still gonna, for like virus videos, I'm still gonna be on Gold Edition. It's gonna be the second video for April 30th, by the way. Because, you know, Troll Crow Season 5 is over, so there'll just be two videos on April 3rd. Well, no, on every Friday. Not just on April 30th. So I'd probably end up forgetting. So once our browser's installed, I will pin some of my games on here because I like more. I like my own. Can't I pin this to my taskbar? Because I like this one. I want to play it. Well, Chrome is installing, so I literally just installed this. Oh, I like this one. It is a little laggy because I'm recording right now. Yeah. So, I'll probably play some more of this at the end of the video. For now, I'll keep Internet Explorer pinned because I'll have to install some Windows updates later. Um. I cannot type today. I'm wondering. No, 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 no. Cancel, cancel. Hate that version. So I'm like, ew, get out of here, because I hate newer versions of Firefox. I don't particularly hate them. I would use it if I had to, had to but. Just 
Yeah, this is the one I normally do. My gosh, my backspace key wants to come off. <coughs> oh god. I'm sorry. Sorry for sneezing on camera. I am so sorry. This is the one I want. Ugh. Am I in service pack one already? Okay, yes I am. Yeah, next time I'm probably gonna end up installing my virtual machine software. For now, I'll stick with the default background because I like it. I'll keep using Chrome, but I'm installing Firefox. It's, it's a nice browser. All of the older versions, at least, in my opinion. No thanks. No, I still do want to be able to watch it now. Don't import anything. I immediately want to stop updates. Hey, hey! Okay, let's look at virtual. Let's get virtual PC to a seven. Virtual PC two thousand seven. Because I don't think two thousand four will work. Um, I don't. I won't get VMware, but because I'm doing this in VMware, but. Normally I have backups of all my data, so I already have installers and stuff, but... Don't use Windows Media Player. I hope you like these kind of style videos. I'm sorry that I haven't uploaded in one in like three weeks. At least I think it's three weeks. Where's my phone? There it is. So I'll check how long it's been. And also, thank you so much for the support lately. Your yeah, last time was about two weeks ago. And it was really cool, and I need to install one right now. Rimmer is a really nice... It's a, it's a software I use on almost any device, because I use it on my host, too. I don't want to buy it, I want to download it. Why would I want to buy it? Because I just skip it. I'm like, no thing. So soon I will be doing a Windows upgrade experience, experiment, it's going to be sometime next month, I think.
see, when we're just done downloading. I'm impressed on how fast it's going. The time is wrong, so I'm gonna check that real quick. I'm gonna change that real quick. It is really like 7 p.m. Change my time zone because I'm in Central Standard Time because I don't live in Canada. Well, I do live in the United States. I don't live in Canada. Date and time. Let's change this. No, not Central America. I need Central Standard Time. Well, I use I say Central Daily Time, but okay, time zone is correct. There you go. Thank you for reading the memoir. I can open this virtual PC 7 zip, dot 7 zip file. Oh god. <laughs> That's from the setup program. And you'd never. Th I don't. Oh, the sock. I had to make. Oh god. Normally I would use work. Oh, okay. It's just. It wants to work, actually. Virtual PC 2007 actually wants to work, which is incredible. Even though it did say there is a compatibility issue. I'm going to be recording a lot more, a, f a few more of these for the, well, I'm upload, we're probably going to record a lot of them today, but I'm going to, they're going to come out in the, upcoming weeks, and knowing how many of them I have planned, I'm gonna probably start doing them as I requested on every single third. no, not Thursday, I said, I mean Wednesday. So virtual PC here, virtual PC 2007, pin to taskbar. Now let's get to VirtualBox, because this is the software I probably use the most on my host. Because I literally have it open in the background. Yes, I have a second display. Because, so that's how I know if I have stuff open in the background. That's where I get my stuff. I think it's this one. I think it's this one at least. Download latest version. Okay, now it's downloading. I think this is probably the closest wireless keyboard that it gets as close to the Model M. Um, turn that on. Should have done that when I was setting this working machine up. And I'll get back when I'm done checking for updates because I gotta go do something right now. Well, note to self, don't try and install Windows updates on a virtual machine. Because they will not work. So, I guess, I guess goodbye, Internet Explorer. Install this version of VirtualBox. I'll find a background. I think last previously I had ROG background first. So let's look at that. I love ROG, they're probably my favorite gaming company. This is the one I had previously, so I'm gonna go for this one now. That scared the crap out of me. Even though well, this one's really cool too, but I'm so I'm just gonna make a ROG slideshow. As I install VirtualBox.
This might be like one of those. Well, the other one was like 18 minutes. This one's already been I think I've been for about 15 minutes. So these these ones are a bit longer. So I bet you'll enjoy that. This one is really cool. So save some images. So I do want it to make changes. Of course I will. Because I use their stuff all the time. Okay, what else should I try now? I don't know why would I it started after the installation. Um, let's try um what else do we need actually? Oh I need an antivirus software. What am I doing? I don't need classic start because I'm on Windows 7. Do need a vast. That's almost all I need. No, well that is exactly all I need. I don't think that it will include Windows 7 for much longer knowing it lost support like the last year. Because it lost support on January 10th, January 14th, 2020. Which is really unfortunate. I think that's, at least I think it's really unfortunate. Excuse me. It's too direct. Wait, what? Well, that's actually about it for how I would normally want to set up Windows 7, other than I have to install my antivirus still. I just still have to set my slideshow. That's actually blurry. Let's just change it to try this one actually. That one's really cool still, even though it's slightly pixelated. I guess we'll just switch to this. Non pixelated seven background. Let's try and find something else.
Now, that's pretty much about it for how I would set up Windows 7. It was a lot of fun to make. You enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it, actually, because this was a lot of fun to make. Thank you all for watching. That's how I would normally want to set up Windows 7, 64-bit or 32-bit. Next one will actually be how I would set up Windows 8. Uh, there will be three versions on how I would ins re install Windows 8.1. So stay tuned for that. That's going to be interesting. So thanks for watching. Take care.